Okay, YouTubers, this is Artis and Tony, and this is my first YouTube review. And so take it easy on me. I hope to get through this. I do just, uh, I'm just doing this to try to help people in the future uh, with certain products. Um, I've been in the construction industry for about 30 years. I'm celebrating my 30th year. So where I'm not an expert on a lot of my hobbies that I watch on YouTube, like bushcraft and those types of things, I feel like I am qualified to, to review materials, uh, construction methods and materials. So um, I would like to first give a shout out to Nut Fancy. He's kind of inspired me to do this. And uh, I also have stolen one of his terms, uh, philosophy of use. Uh, so uh, I'm using the term applications uh, to best describe what applications I think the, these four, these materials will, will meet. Um, so actually what I'm reviewing today is Traffic Master Allure Commercial Vinyl Flooring, this product here. And I'm going to be using as my control or my benchmark uh, race deck flooring. So you're probably familiar with this uh, for uh, garage floors and most hobbyists have seen this. So it's kind of a standard in the industry as far as I'm concerned. So I'll get right into my talking points here. Uh, again, as far as applications, um, this Traffic Master Allure uh, Vinyl Flooring, I think would be great in a room where you weren't concerned so much about finishes as far as you know, high end finishes like uh, wood or tile. If you just wanted a, a less expensive flooring to install in a playroom or an attic hobby room where you weren't so concerned about uh, uh, actually uh, curb appeal or um, value as far as uh, the value added to your home, uh, this may be something you want to use. Uh, I would not, uh, and, and I'm doing this review for garage floor materials, uh, so uh, I wouldn't recommend this as far as a garage floor, uh, and I'll get into that just a little bit. Um, I would recommend a race deck for a garage. So uh, that's uh, as far as applications go. Um, preparation <clears throat> for the floor is basically going to be the same. You want to patch cracks and make sure there's no debris on the floor. Uh, if you leave a pebble, uh, any kind of stone on the floor, and you try to install this final flooring over it, it's going to come through the floor eventually. Uh, so, and I've got a little, uh, some video clips I'm going to show you there of uh, us patching the floors. Um, so, basically, for preparation, uh, you, you're basically talking about the same. Um, uh, methods. Installation, <clears throat> under installation I have a few points. Design, ease of installation, uh, uh, tools, and whether I recommend a pro or not. So uh, as far as design goes, you're going to have a lot more options um, design-wise with Race Deck. If you go to the website, you're going to see uh, all of the different design options you have, the different colors, that it's interlocks, um, uh, in that respect, you have a lot more options with Race Deck on design. Uh, as far as Allure is concerned, they don't even recommend mixing colors or types of flooring. So you're basically stuck with uh, one basic color or design uh, on that. Uh, so as far as design goes, uh, that would go to Race Deck. As far as ease of installation goes, uh, again, I'm going to have to give that to Race Deck. Uh, it snatched together. Uh, any handyman, any, any uh, weekend warrior could put this together. I would recommend a pro helping you or at least getting you started with this vinyl flooring because once these uh, stick together, these sticky tabs here, uh, you cannot pull these apart without damaging the flooring. So as far as ease of installation, that would go to uh, race deck. Uh, uh, as far as time is concerned, that would also go to race deck. You'll spend a lot of time making sure these edges are lined up. If you don't line these edges up, you're going to have cracks and that'll show through the entire floor. 
tools. The only thing that goes to, as far as installation, that will go to um, the allure is the tools that are required. This is a small point, but you can cut this allure flooring with uh, shears, like vinyl, vinyl siding shears. Uh, whereas you'd have to have a, a different tool. We use like a little cutoff grinder to cut this, cut the race deck because it's it's thicker. Uh, all since it is a more uh, since the quality is better, you're going to have to take a little more effort to cut the the race deck. But again, it's modular. It's more modular than a lure. A lure is one foot by three foot. So you're going to have to cut. There's going to be more cuts involved with the lure. Um, trimming accessories. Um, a lure traffic master basically fails uh, big time as far as trims go. Uh, this is the piece um, that they sh they send with it. It comes in rolls of eight foot five inches, which is a, a, another part of the reason it fails. Most garage doors are nine feet or 16 feet. So and even on a nine foot door, you're gonna have a joint. And it comes with this little sticky tape. And you know that's not gonna, that's not gonna hold, that's not gonna last. And I, I'll put a little uh, film clip up here of us testing it. Uh, what we ended up doing is buying separate trim pieces uh, to trim out. This is a heavy duty rubberized uh, you've probably seen this before and we just use it to, to to trim out the edge of it when it came to the where it came to the garage door so as far as trims go and accessories a lure basically fails in that test um, but race deck has a, has a system specifically designed for the garage door it's snatched together let me get it lined up here properly and this just snatched together and that's your ramp to get into the garage door. So that's a great system and it works well. Uh, as far as wear and tear, uh, I think they're, they probably both are about the same as far as staining and uh, resisting. Um, they're both, you know, vinyl based, plastic based products. So, but we did do a drop test and I'll show that up here um, where we dropped a nail puller or a wonder bar on them and you can see uh, here uh, it left an indentation but on on the vinyl flooring it left a pretty bad pretty bad spot <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that so the problem with that is if you, if you decide to try to replace a, a piece of this a lower flooring you're not going to have any luck taking this out and replacing it. If you want to replace a piece of the race deck, you just snap it out and you're, you're done. You can replace it very easily. Uh, so as far as uh, that goes, the warranty on these products, uh, for some reason, this war the warranty for the Allure is not published. I even called the manufacturer, couldn't get it. Uh, they said they'd have to get back with me. So I'm not sure why they don't publish it Maybe you can Google it and find it. I tried to Google it and couldn't find it. The warranty on the race deck is 10 years. Um, one point I might add here is that if you move, you're gonna be able to take up this race deck and take it with you. Uh, you're not gonna be able to take up this floor um, to replace it. Um, so uh, as far as costs go, the funny thing, these, these floors are not too far apart in cost. Um, this is considered a commercial vinyl flooring and it runs about three dollars and nine cents a square foot and this is considered this is the residential version of race deck and it's around three dollars but if you have any experiences you want to share with me I'd be happy to and again I'm not criticizing uh, Allure product I'm just trying to help people in the future uh, uh, decide what applications are best for what materials and in this case, I, I think I would use race deck over a lure. Well, that's my review. I hope I've helped people uh, who may be thinking about purchasing this product. If you have any more questions, uh, you can watch our videos that we put up on, about the installations. And uh, please uh, comment, let me know how I did on my first review. And uh, I'll try to do more if you have a, a particular product you want reviewed. Uh, 
Uh, so I can help you out. So just let me know. Thanks, guys.